Hey guys, Jamie's here. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. I uh, thought I'd make a video today talking about a couple things. Um, first, I uh, got a few coins from my dad. So my dad, um, I guess, was just kind of going through some things in storage or I don't know really what exactly, but uh, he found some of his old coins. My dad um, went to Paris when he was in college. So without getting into too much detail, my uh, father was a, he's a retired police officer and he went to Paris. Like there was like a Paris trip. Um, I don't know, I think to like learn about their court system or criminal justice system. I don't know. But regardless, um, he went there. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask him, actually. I want to say like in the 70s, um, either 70s or 80s. Probably 70s. But when he went there, he, uh, he had some coins and he knew, he knows that I, I uh, like to collect coins. So he doesn't really care about coins. I, I think I've said that a few times. I think these were just like, literally, they, he gave them to me in like a Ziploc bag. Um, all of these, including that Morgan dollar. I was like, hey, I just found these. Pretty sure these were from when I went to Paris um, e eons ago. <laughs> and I was like, awesome. Like, yeah, I know exactly where I'm going to put those. Like, thank you. Um, so that was super cool. So I got some new coins and got a free Morgan out of that. So I'll uh, show these real quick. So this is an 1886. Pretty sure it's been cleaned. Uh, it, I came, it came in like one of the old plastic flips that I think the plastic was not good for coins, like storage long-term. So I think that's, ooh, uh, let's get this fixed. I think that's why, make sure this is all good. All right. I think that's why this kind of looks the way that it does. Otherwise, I kind of nicknamed it Scarface because of that little scar on the eye. Let's see if I can get closer. Nice coin. I don't believe it's fake. Uh, I need to get like a ping for like the ping tester. I've seen in uh, Stack in the South doing some ping tests. I need to get one of those. But I like the toning on this coin. It's got some good detail. Nice little scar face above the eye. 1886, very common date. Philly. But you can still see some of the breast feathers there. And the leaves on the bottom still have some detail. So this is a nice coin. This is probably the best condition uh, Morgan that I have that's like pre-1921. So, thank you, Dad. And, yeah, this is super cool. So that was the coolest one out of the bunch. And then I'll show you these kind of real quick. This is not silver. It's just like nickel and copper, I believe. And oh, they flip this way. So 1965, two shillings. That's just kind of like a cool. I just like the look and design of that cool of this of this coin is cool. I like that old look. Same with this one here. I believe it's just nickel and copper. From what I researched. Got 10 pence with the lion. I believe Pirate um, has some English heritage, um, some direct English heritage, so maybe you can fill me in. I have no idea. The pence, uh, do they still do pence? Is that, I know they use the British pound over there, but um, I have no idea. This is a 
So fill me in, any of you British or just people who are knowledgeable about that. It's got two pence there. And I believe these are just copper. And a one pence. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna put these in the Lighthouse album. I'm gonna put this in that tube. And yeah, so I figured I'd show you guys those. Now, what I wanted to talk about were these tubes. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me, pajamas, what the heck are those tubes? Those things are sweet. I don't, I don't have, uh, I haven't seen those before. And I agree. I think these are awesome. I love these tubes. Um, so I, I got these from Atmex. <laughs> I know, uh, I've been preaching at Mex, but you guys already know there are other bullion sites that have way better deals and prices as far as their coins, uh, bullion. But when it comes to supplies, uh, it's it's kind of hard to beat at Mex. So you can find these on their site, these tubes. They're like eight or nine dollars for the tubes. Um, they have various sizes. So what I did is I would, so these are what they officially are. They're the gold slash platinum philharmonic tubes. Um, so what I did is I looked at the size of the philharmonic coins, gold coins, and looked at the measurement, and then I would look at gold coins that I would maybe want to purchase. So I would look first at like the one tenth ounce gold philharmonic measure. Look at the measurements, like how how big, how round is the coin, and then look at maybe a one tenth ounce gold eagle or one tenth ounce gold. Uh, Britannia and then look at their measurements and make sure that they were either the same or you could there's like if it's 0.1 millimeter off you'll be okay but yeah they they fit so you just want to check for the most part all the coins are gonna are gonna fit but you can always double check the measurements to make sure so like the one tenth ounce tubes, they kind of have like a an inner diameter. You can kind of see in there. Whereas the quarter ounce do not. Um, it's just the just the tube. So I love these tubes. These are super cool. Again, they're the gold slash platinum. Philharmonic tubes, so they're Austrian, and I got these from Atmex, but I'm sure you can find them elsewhere. Um, so these, this is the half ounce tube. I don't have any half ounce or full ounce, so kind of like the one tenth ounce tubes. This has like an inner tube. So this is for half ounce gold coins. This would be a for full ounce gold coins. I don't have either yet. Um, and yeah, so I just have the half ounce, the full ounce, the quarter ounce, and the tenth ounce. So I have a half ounce, a full ounce, and then two quarter ounce empty tubes. I know for sure I'm gonna get into quarter ounce gold eagles at some point. And then what I'm gonna do with this tube, I'm not quite sure. Again, these are, gold is expensive. <laughs> so um, it's gonna take me a long time to get any of these full, a long time. I'm half, almost halfway done with the with this tube. This will be the first tube I get full, I think. Um, after that, probably the gold Britannias, but 
These are these is like deep stack long term. Um, not in a rush, but love these tubes. I these tubes kind of remind me of like uh, I don't know if any of you are like like Harry Potter fans. <laughs> the these tubes remind me of like these little like flasks, you know, and like potions class, you know, where they're just kind of like mi mixing a bunch of a bunch of potions together and they have these tiny little flasks of different things. Uh, I don't know why, but these tubes just remind me of that for some reason. And um, yeah, so I figured uh, talk to or um, talk to you guys about a couple things today. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments about these tubes, so I figured I would kind of designate a whole video about them. Um, so check them out. I love these tubes. You can always check the measurements and use the gold Philharmonic coin just to make sure that the coin that maybe you're looking at, you want to make sure it fits. You can just uh, compare the measurements and make sure that it, that it fits. But yeah, you should be good to go for the most part. If you have a one-tenth ounce gold coin, it's going to fit in the one-tenth ounce gold tube and so on and so forth. So... Yeah. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.